Hi guys, welcome back to Automation Point. So today tutorial agenda is download Chrome driver, snippet to the launch Chrome driver, illegal statement exceptions, and make browser configuration system independent. So to download the Chrome drivers, let's move on the Selenium official side. So here on the Google, you can to go on the Selenium official side. Type Selenium download so selenium download this is the first link it will is i yeah so this is the selenium official site so here inside the download tabs you you will get all the uh, software uh, selenium standalone jars and all the drivers and labels on this page so here we have the list of the all the drivers Right now we are intended to download the Chrome driver. So go here and click on the version. So here we have the um, Chrome driver exe for all the different system like, like Linux, Mac and Windows. So right now we will download this Chrome driver Windows 32 bits. Uh, it's not matter that your system is 32 bit or 64 bit. Um, so this Chrome driver is uh, compatible for the 32-bit or 64-bit board system. So just go and click download. Okay. And right now I will pause it because already I have downloaded one. So just you need to, what you need to just download this one and extract the this zip file. You will go get one folder like that Chrome driver window 32-bit inside that you have the chrome driver exe okay so just you need this chrome driver exe path in your script line so let's move to write the script okay so to write a script guys we will create one java class in the java class so give the name run selenium on Chrome, on, sorry, Chrome. Take it and okay, it's a same error. So what you need to do? Just take it again. Type it. The type name is not valid. The Java name must be not start with the blank. Then it is the blank. Remove and give the name again. I run selenium on Chrome and click finish. So now we have one Java classes with the main method. So inside the Java classes, first you need to set the path of that Chrome. A Chrome driver exe to see the path of that Chrome driver exe you need to go write the code like system dot seat property okay inside it set property just you can take this name web driver Chrome driver okay and paste it as a, as a string and here you can give the path of your that chrome driver so take this to take this path go here and copy this path and paste it inside once again as a, a string and again you need to take this chrome driver rename it copy its name and S paste dot exe okay and just change this single slash to add backwards backwards okay. yeah so now we have set the path of that chrome driver so next go and launch create one reference variable for the driver for that we will write wave driver equal the variable name is driver equal to new game chrome 
drivers and make this a statement next line now we have one uh, driver variable so by using this driver variable we will write all the needed steps that we intended to perform on the web page so right now we want to just launch one uh, facebook page so let's driver dot get method i will describe it in later and pass the url you want to open in double as a string so let's take the url of the facebook page so go here and you can copy this url okay so go and pass this argument here okay guys now this code is ready this piece of the code what will open the chrome driver on your system and it will open the facebook url in that chrome driver so let's run it yeah so what it is doing let's see chrome driver is open and now facebook is open so next point is illegal statement exceptions let's see what is the illegal statement so your script will throw illegal statement exceptions if you are passing this any of these argument as wrong so like web driver dot chrome driver instead of that you pass chrome drivers and run the scripts so you will see it's throwing uh, by java uh, uh, la, uh, illegal statement exception okay so this is the very important thing so the interviewer generally ask like uh, like this exceptions so you must, must should we know what is the illegal statements and when it comes and how do we we resolve the illegal statements so next point is make a browser configuration system independent again this is the very important point guys so let's suppose you have wrote your script on this system and tomorrow you want to run the same script on the another system so in this case what will happen if you will import this java project on another systems and then and if the this then your this script might get fail if if this path is not same this exe path is not same on that system so for that what we will do we will keep this exe inside this java project only so inside this java project i have created one driver folder and inside that driver folder i have kept this exe now i need to take this path of this exe inside that folder so to take the path of the this exe what we will do again we will write here system dot get property okay inside that get property pass the argument user dot dir this line of uh, this line of a statement will provide you path up to here after that you can add the path of uh, path from here from from here to exe so to from this folder to the to go to the exe we have to navigate to the driver and the drive chrome driver dot exe so here remove these all things and just pass the name of driver right okay so now my script is system independent so now you can import this project on any systems and without doing any modification and any change you can run this script so let's see So now this script is running with that change. Okay, guys. 
so this is all about today agenda so today we have so uh, seen uh, download the chrome drivers and uh, wrote the snippet to launch the chrome driver and i have seen what is the illegal statement exceptions and make our script system independence okay guys thank you thank you so much guys please subscribe automation point channel to keep getting automation update okay guys thank you so much